copyright notices if you wish to read pause the video the original videos are linked in the description down below enjoy all right then so in this one what you're gonna see is uh, pcso's uh, issuing a fine on a notice that don't actually understand but we'll get straight into it and we will break it down and pull up the law and everything as and when we need to let's just go you here as part of an organized protest no you're not are you part of a pro-life organization or pro-choice organization i am but i'm not here in that capacity okay are you protesting no are you here to pray for the lives of unborn children uh that, it's a little bit leading but no i'm not okay uh, can your actions be carried out elsewhere I can pray elsewhere, but I, I want to pray here today. Right. So as you can see, this PCSO is just reading stuff off of a form. A piece of paper. She doesn't know what she's doing, and to be honest, I don't think... Uh, personally, I wouldn't have answered any of her questions. I would have made her get a real police officer, not one of these jumped-up dinner ladies. But that's just me personally. I wouldn't have said anything. Just let her read all of the bullshit she wants on the paper. Right. Why have you chosen the location here to stand? You know this is an abortion centre that I'm standing outside of. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Um, are you aware that there is a public space protection order in place here? Yes, I am. Okay. Um, are you aware that you're breaching the public protection order? I'm not, no. Uh, will you move from here to outside of the exclusion zone? I, I don't believe I need to. Okay. Um, if not, why are you not willing to move outside of the exclusion zone? Because I don't believe I need to. I believe I've got a right to be here. Okay, right. Um... Okay then, so what she's referring to is an antisocial behaviour and criminal and policing act of 2014, which is uh, part four, chapter two, public space protection orders. So what she's referring to is uh, subsection four in this. A police a public space protection order is an order that identifies the public place referring to in subsection 2, which is here, the restricted area and prohibits specific things being done in this restricted area. So I don't know what the specific things are. I am assuming it is protesting as that's what the PCSO kept on going on about. It is says require specific things to be done by reasonable carriers of blood so this is this what she's referring to here is uh irrelevant if the woman is just praying unless if they put a protection order that you're not allowed to pray in that area which i don't see them doing because it could be it could be classed as a racial racial uh hit or whatever you want to call it but that this is basically what she's all going on about. Um, if you believe that you're present to protest in any form, um, obviously we're going to need to issue with a fixed penalty notice. Sorry, can you explain that again? Yes. Um, we've. If you believe that you're present to protect in any form. If, if I'm. If I believe what? Sorry. If you believe that you are present to protest no in i'm not form. i'm not here to protest no right okay then so i do believe by what this pcso keeps on saying gatherings and protests i don't believe praying is classed as a protest if it is i think every single mosque and church would be protesting every time the prayer which would be racial discrimination and Obviously, in this disorder, that must be the only thing which is put in place is no, no gatherings of protest. Obviously, this person is clarified several times she's not here to protest. So, this order does not apply to her. Um, well, you're in the PSPO, you, you, you're breaching it. So I'm in the zone, be, yes, but so I'm not gonna, protesting. Yes, yeah, so you're going to be given a fixed penalty notice today. Okay. Um, and um, that will be given to you with the offence and planning to apply with the public space protection order and the antisocial behaviour crime of policing act 2014. Um, and my colleague's going to issue with the ticket. Um, Just to make it clear, I'm not protesting. Okay. 
but you know you can't be. You know. I'll just point out the PSPA from the north. I think you've seen that before. I know there's a zone here, but I'm not protesting within the zone. I'm just silently praying. What's your data verse, Isabel? Okay then, so it's pretty clear. The zone is for protesting only. This woman was just stood there silently praying, which cannot be classed as protesting. She might just be mentally ill. So, personally, I wouldn't give these PCSOs nothing. I'd tell them to swivel. I'd laugh in the face and tell them to go and get a real police officer. Don't give out your details to these clowns ever. PCSO asks you for anything, tell them to get a real police officer. In my eyes, this is a clear stretch of power which has gone to these women's heads. They don't understand the order and the order which is put in place. Obviously, I don't know what the order was. I'm just assuming it was no gatherings and protesting, considering that's all the PCSO has kept on saying. Now, if that's the case, clearly was no gatherings and you can't class praying as protesting. Uh, they might have done that in that place, but that means if that's the case and there's anybody which prays in them houses which are there, also will be breaking the order. So that would be an unreasonable unreasonable uh, subject to put in place, which is actually against the rules of putting them orders in place. But that's just my opinion. Let us know in the comments down below what you thought of this interaction. As always, like the video, it does open YouTube's algorithm, and I'll catch you on the next one.